Alright. Hello everybody, my name is Frosty or Frosty Snow Pickle, and welcome to the next episode of Skyrim where we're just continuing right where we left off. We just got to Riverwood. Alright, you know what we're gonna do? Dragon. Right off the bat. What? What is it now, mother? We are going to uh quick save and then we are going to Punch a chicken. If you keep on like this, everyone in town will think you're crazy. And I've got better. And now the entire town is gonna attack me. You'll see. It was a dragon. It'll kill us all and then you'll believe me. Somebody help. I'm getting out of here. The white thank you. Everybody's attacking me because I att I punched a chicken. Ah, eh, shut up, it's a quick save. Oh, that was a nice kill. Alright, yeah, I just felt like starting off the episode like that. There was no point to that, really. Howdy, Alvor. Um, how's it going? Nope, come here. I need to talk to you. Every day we get visitors in Riverwood. Do you have any supplies I could take? Of course. Take what you need. But what's all this about? What are you two doing here? I can take all of this? Sure, why not? A dragon attacked Helgen and destroyed it. Advar and I escaped what? together. A dragon? In Helgen? That explains what I saw earlier. Flying down the valley from the south. I was hoping I was wrong about what I thought it was. It was a dragon. Advar will tell you the same thing. A dragon? Here in Skyrim? What's this world coming to? First the war, now dragons. Trouble loves company, they say. The Yarl needs to know there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. All right. Do you have any supplies like I, I could said, take? I'm glad to help in any way I can. Help yourself to whatever you need. Within reason. Oh, I already took everything. You don't have anything more. Useless. How do I get to White Run from here? And then head north. You'll see it just past the falls. When you get to White Run, just keep going up. When you get to the top of the hill, you're at Dragon's Reach, the Jarl's Palace. What can you tell me about the Jarl? Jarl Balgruf? He rules White Run Hold. A good man, perhaps a bit overcautious, but these are dangerous times. So far, he's managed to stay out of the war. I'm afraid it can't last, though. Which side in the war does he favor? I don't think he likes either Ulfric or Ellis as much. Who can blame him? But I've no doubt he'll prove loyal to the Empire in the end. He's no traitor. You're the traitor. You support the Empire, then? Of course. Skyrim has always been part of the Empire. That Skyrim doesn't mean I support everything the Empire's been doing lately. But Nords have never been fair weather friends. Who's Eris? Cross the river no, and then that's not what I asked. When you get to White Run, just keep going up. When you get to the Who's Elisif? I forget you're new to Skyrim. Jarl Elisif, I should say. Although only because she was married to Jarl Torig, when he was murdered. Ulfric murdered Torig, you know. Walked right into his palace in solitude and killed him. Shouted him to death, if you believe the stories. That's what started this whole war. The Empire couldn't ignore that. Once the Jarls start killing each other, we're back to the bad old days. What can you tell me about Riverwood? Gerda's family first settled here as woodcutters a few generations ago. She and Hod run the mill. 
I make a decent living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. Can I use your forge? I see no harm in it, if you have the skill. The grindstone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. What do you think about the war? People are rightly stirred up about the damn Thalmor being allowed to roam around arresting people, just for worshipping Talos. But was it worth tearing Skyrim apart and maybe destroying the Empire? No. Ulfric will have a lot to answer for in the end. Nords have always supported the Empire, and the Empire has always been good for Skyrim. Why are the Thalmor allowed to arrest people for worshipping Talos? It's from that treaty that ended the Great War, remember? When the Emperor was forced by the Thalmor to outlaw Talos worship. We didn't pay much attention to it when I was a boy. Everyone still had their little shrine to Talos. But then, Ulfric and his sons of Skyrim started agitating about it. Sure enough, the Emperor had to crack down, dragging people off in the middle of the night. One of the main causes of this war, if you ask me. Well, you've been very helpful. Mm -hmm. Riverwood Trader, you need to buy my well, stuff. One of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. Sorry you had to hear that. Well, I don't know what you overheard, but... The Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Did something happen? Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break-in. We still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. I could help you get the claw back. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northeast of town. Yes, the sooner you find the claw, the sooner our lives can get back to normal. What have you got for Some sale? may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. That's very expensive.
to the edge of town. I think I have a few old spell books laying about. If you want more, you'll have to go to the College of Winterhold. Just where it's good to fish. That was not worth twenty five gold. Its value is eight. Don't let my oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Next time. How much weight is, is my inventory at now? 71, that's much better. We have to go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here though, the mountain just over the buildings. That's nice. Those must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. Well, I certainly hope not trolls. Need a guide to the edge of town. I followed you. It, it got me nowhere. Let's head into the inn. She's already mine, I keep telling him. You and Feindal both like the same girl. Camilla Valerius knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. I've seen him sneaking over to the Riverwood trader to speak with him when I'm not around. He's wasting his time. He sounds persistent. Why not do something about it? You may be right. Camilla may see Feindol as little more than a friend, but why take chances? Here, give Camilla this letter. It's full of venomous nonsense. Tell her it's from Feindol. I saw a dragon in Helgen. Truly? So maybe my mother isn't crazy after all. You had best tell the Jarl in Whiterun. He needs to know about this. So I've been told. Where did you learn to play Bard's so College in Solitude. They train bards and scalds like myself. If you go there, talk to the armor. He's the headmaster. Is there somewhere I can buy fresh supplies? Lucan's got a little bit of everything at the Riverwood Trader. If you need weapons or armor, see Alvor, the blacksmith. Can I make a request? Sure. What can I do for you? Do you know the age of aggression? Only true Imperials request that one. 
This is an ode to Skyrim's staunch protection. I prefer Age of Oppression, but you know. Dream to our youth, to the days come and gone. For the age of aggression is just about done. We'll drive out the storm cloaks and restore what we own. With our blood and our steel, we'll take back our home. Down with Ulfric, the killer of kings. On the day of your death, we will drink and we'll sing. We're the children of Skyrim, and we fight all our lives. Snowdrum crowd beckons, every one of us dies. But this land is ours, and we'll see it wiped clean. The scourge that has sullied our hopes and our dreams. Yeah, Age of Oppression is better. Age of Oppression is the Stormcloak version. Need something? Yeah, I have a drink on me. I've got alto wine. One. Oh, I gave him two. Until next time. I'm the innkeeper. It's my business to keep track of strangers. I heard any rumors. Word is Ulfric Stormcloak escaped from the Imperial. War is only going to get worse now. I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Need a room? Talk to Delphine. Can I use the alchemy lab? Long as you clean up, you know how to use it, right? Mix a couple of ingredients together, see what happens. A little wheat and blister wart makes a healing potion, if you didn't know. We have plenty of ingredients for sale, too. What have you got for sale? Take a look. I'm looking... Shut up. I'm, just I'm looking for lab. work. Got any leads? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Heard any rumors lately? There have been whispers. A boy up in Windhelm, name of Aventus Aretino, been trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Heard any rumors lately? Have you seen that shrine of Azura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. Had any rooms Nobody really? trusts those mages way up north in their college. Gods only know what they do up there. And are there any other rumors? We've got something of a love triangle here in Riverwood. Fandel and Sven, both vying for Camilla's affections. There we go. Finally, that's all. Looking to blow okay, yourself up? Power. I hear that's what magic. magic does to you. There's a college in Winterhold that teaches magic. Unless that blew up, too. Be a lot safer just to have the Jarl's wizard teach you a thing or two. Until next time. <laughs> what are you doing? This is my room. I rented it. Excuse me, I rented the room. Oh wait, no, this is the room, isn't it? Give me a mug of ale. Coming right up. What the heck? Which is the room that I rented? I paid ten gold. Take what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. Is this it? This is it. Right. Yes.
Why are you sleeping with bread in your hand? Uh, let's drop a save here quickly. The days come and gone, for the age of oppression is now nearly done. We will drive out the empire from this land that we own. With our blood and our steel, we will take back our home. All hail to all, Frick, you are the High King. In your great honor we drink and we sing We're the children of Skyrim and we fight all our lives And when sovereign God beckons every one of us dies But this land is ours and we'll see it wiped clean Of the scourge that has sullied our hopes and our dreams See that one's so much better, and it just flows better. It's it's a better, it's a better song. Yeah, I'm not doing the Bleak Falls Barrow quest yet. do the Bleak Falls Barrow quest. It's really difficult to determine which quest to do first, whether to go to Whiterun first or Bleak Falls Barrow first, but I think Bleak Falls Barrow is probably better to go to first because it's got... Please tell me that was just a normal bird. That means that I... Ah, uh, nope, nope, stop it. stamina are all we really need to focus on because I'm not going to worry too much about magicka in, in this playthrough. 
not until I like have to for certain quests. One could make the argument that I perhaps should have um should have waited until daytime to go to a barrow full of undead. But um to those people I say screw you. Daytime is for losers. Birds are really difficult to shoot down, but they're uh, their the their feathers and stuff are quite useful. If I recall. Are the bandits detecting me when I move? Thing. Um, I'd rather not use up all of my arrows. So, um, whoops. Let's just, uh, just. You will? Um, sir, why are you not dead? keep freaking me out. I keep thinking that's a dragon's shadow. <coughs> Alright. Bleak Falls Barrow. Everybody loves Bleak Falls Barrow.
absolutely nothing. There you go. See? Nothing. There was one more that I failed to kill. But I don't know what they are. So I've got to use some caution here. That's not what I wanted to take. over here somehow? Did I knock them off the ledge or something? And there's one over here on the lookout. Oh, I love that again. And I'll increase health again. Oh, I also have to add, uh, distribute my skill points. Nope, not what I wanted. Damn it. Falls Temple. Actually, hold on. Which... I think it's an archery that has the... Yeah, Steady Hand is what I'm looking for there. Hold on. 
is there any room for me to cower and hide after shooting? Is there a better vantage point? Yes, I can duck in over there. But can I hit anybody from here? That is the question. here. Just what we wanted to see. Skeevers. All right. Oop. Now, let's have a look around, shall we? Search that it says empty. Hey, why are there bandits down here if there were cobwebs? here but us chickens. He was supposed to get shot by that and killed, and I just killed him before he could. Poor bugger. I 
don't need a torch, I can see in the dark. Alright. Snake, snake, dolphin. Snake? Or that's a whale, probably. Snake, snake, fish. I'll just go fish, because that way there's no confusion. Screw you, get out of the way. Man, those bandits have been here for a while and couldn't figure out that puzzle, really. Pocket increased from reading a book. Nice. Alright, and we got a lever to close and open the gate. I'm not sure how that's useful, but. <gasps> oh shoot! That's how it's useful. Close the gate, close the gate. Ha, huh. screw you, skeevers. They shouldn't still be able to detect me. a reason for things. And there's also a reason to not go rushing blindly down the stairs without checking for enemies first. What the frickin' heck? just gonna fight him with a weapon, with a melee weapon. It's gonna be easier that way. They're just skeevers. Not like, not like they're drawing or something. Get back here. Screw you. Alright, I think this time we increase stamina. And then we go for the the archery bows do more damage. And now we go back to sneaking. Stealth Archer may not be the most interesting gameplay to watch, but it's definitely the best strategy. Once you actually like build up your stealth somewhat. Just a bandit, okay. I 
really shouldn't help you. Switch to the steel sword. Oh shoot! You can shoot through there. Okay. Um. All right. Whatever. Would you stop circling? <laughs> Ooh. There we go. Jeez. Rude. Yeah, dude, I'll, I'll be with you in a second, okay? Shut up. Damn it. Why 
can I not hit them properly when they... <gasps> Shoot. I didn't see that one. plate that's going to make that swing towards me if I step on it. that are going to come to life are not too hard to spot. You just have to know what to look for. Usually, the searchable ones and the ones that will come to life both stand out from their shelf a little, and the, the ones that are going to come to life are still wearing clothes, like that one. Still wearing clothes and a weapon on his waist. Why did that shoot so not straight? Oh, that one. That one's just wearing very revealing clothing. death that was. Oh, I could have ignited the floor there. I still could, honestly.
get that. is cool. You're really unobservant, you know that? We'll go with health again. This way. Woo. I have played this quest at least like three or four times. Glowing mushrooms. Now remember kids, always eat random mushrooms and flowers that you find. See, that made me resistant to shock. And chicken eggs made me resistant to magic somehow. Thistle made me resistant to frost. See, nothing bad ever comes of eating random flowers and plants and stuff. Ever. Always do it, children. Listen to Volti telling you not to listen to me. I assure you that that only good things come of eating random flowers and mushrooms. It's scientifically proven. I think that's the way it wants me to go. So of course I'm not going that way. Oh, my arrow. Another one of my arrows. Oh, 
right now. Something's got to be behind. Oh, come on. playthrough of me checking behind waterfalls saying something's got to be here and then nothing ever being there. So I saw a post saying I'm talking about how people always complain when video games don't have an option to jump and then saying, but think about it, when was the last time that you had to jump in real life? And see, that seems like it would be a good argument for why video games don't need to include jumping, except, um, when was the last time you were in a situation like this in your life? for being so cooperative. All right, back to the bow. feel like it shouldn't have been an apprentice lock for 14 gold and a battle axe. Explosives are fun. Children, you should always play with explosives anytime you find them. Nothing bad can ever come of using explosives. Of that, I promise you. Thing. Nope. Okay. More booms. Alright. Fun. Come 
one moment. I'm back. All right, what have we got? Oh, I didn't check in there, hold on. Potion of resist cold, see I almost missed that. set off every explosive I can find. It just, it has to be done. Alright. And here we are. The door in the Hall of Stories. Alright. Golden Claw. Bear, winged thing, owl. Shanks. Alright, is this the boss room? Oop. Don't remember that. That might be something new that was added when they updated the graphics and stuff. But yes, this is the boss room. You can tell because there is a wall. And the walls, I'm talking about a special wall, not just a regular wall. I'm back. Alright, can I get up here? I can. Excellent. Well, in that case, this can be a great vantage point for when I'm fighting with the Draugr, whatever it's called, the, the big bad scary Draugr man. I think that's the official name in game, right? Oh, there we go. 
Frogger Overlord is out of his shell. Hey, that's rude. I'm supposed to be the one that does that. Oh, right, I can't use it yet. Get back. <laughs> this is really not how you're supposed to do this fight, but hey! Look. If they didn't intend for it to be fought that way, then that wouldn't be a possibility. Found the secret of Bleak Falls Barrow. Now we just have to find the secret of how to get down from here. Oh! Potion of lock picking. Mammoth bones, that's pretty cool. weather. That's pretty cool. There's a cave right over here. I probably should discover it on my map quickly. Before heading back to... Alright. South Brittle Shin Pass. That sounds like a place that I probably don't want to go right now. So let's go to my map. Actually, wait, let's see if there's anything more around here first, like that potion of lock picking. But we're gonna end up fast traveling to Riften. Or not Riften. Riften is way far away. No, we're gonna end up fast traveling to White. Not White Run. Uh, Riverwood. There we go. Third time's a charm. You move faster without your weapon out, so... Anything interesting on this here island? An ore vein, but I don't have a pickaxe. There's a boat over there. Yeah, that's the Guardian Stones. I have never seen this campsite or boat before. Who are you? You're looking a little rough around the edges. You feeling all right? I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. I 
I have a fishing map if you want. been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. All right, good to know. Fishing is one of the new things that was added in the updated edition, I think. There's a mine up there. That's where the thing goes to. Anyways, new save. Uh, we probably should have fast traveled first. Back to Riverwood, and we're going to bring the claw to Lucan, and then that's going to probably do it for us. <sighs> for today. That's not where we want to go. I mean, maybe eventually, but not right now. Howdy. The sooner you find the claw, the sooner our lives can get back to normal. I have the golden claw. You found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. If that's where you keep it, then no wonder it got stolen. Thank you so much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. Till next time. Yeah, that's gonna get stolen again in no time. Well, um... Uh... Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Um... It has been a pleasure beginning our uh, Skyrim journey together, and I look forward to seeing what paths we take. I have played the game before, but I haven't played all the way through it, so it's still somewhat of a new uh, journey for me as well as you all. Well, those of you that haven't seen it before anyways. Um, thank you for watching, YouTube people, once again, hit every button that you can possibly find on the screen if you feel like it and if you enjoyed if you didn't enjoy it i'd still appreciate you hitting the buttons but you are under no obligation to um you're under no obligation to if you did enjoy it as well but you know it would, it would be quite 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 nice to to have that happen so anyways um yeah Thanks for watching, and bye-bye.